Cataclysm and it has come to an end today, far sooner than anyone had expected. With the surprise attacks and persistence from Animal House, Fortress captures and attacks from Disavowed, as well as support from Jedi Order, White Knights, Federation, and a few from the Entity, the former leading alliance has been completely outmatched. Following the public admission of the reason Animal House initiated the war, the leader of Black Horizon withdrew all forces and effectively conceded the war. Horizon himself issued a statement to his alliance to cease fire and abandon the flag of their alliance for safe harbor elsewhere. Animal House representatives assure the public that they will not be continuing this particular war against former Black Horizon's Alliance members, regardless of their new affiliations around the galaxy, and stress that this war was a direct result of the Black Horizon's leaders' actions within top-level circles of diplomacy. When asked to make a final statement, the major contributor Alliance leaders had the following to say. Andros, commander of Disavowed. After learning Black Horizon's chain of command it was the home stretch to completely destroying Black Horizon. The order was given and BH started to fall apart as planned. This was the result of getting on the opposite side of Animal House and Disavowed. Rest assured Cygnus. Disavowed will stand behind Animal House at all cost. Horizons, former commander of Black Horizon, Animal House attacked us after lying to us about being allies. They unhonorably attacked us from out of nowhere. Most members were offline at the time and those who were online panicked as not knowing too what was going on. It was like Pearl Harbor all over again, but in space. Ops, commander of Animal House, although Horizons boasted of being a powerhouse of his own, he showed that his mouth wrote checks his ass could not cover. We proved that to him. Azaline, commander of Apex Predators, we celebrated the demise of Black Horizons when the news and war reports came back. Black Horizons had attempted a hostile takeover of our territory and holdings a short time ago. Despite that, we have offered a place in our alliance to any Black Horizons member who had not attacked any of our affiliates, but preserved the right to deny specific individuals. Many alliances around the galaxy opened their doors to Black Horizon refugees in recent times. Those who did not join other alliances have seemed to band it together under the new banner of the Red Tiger Alliance, led by a new rising governor, player GM1. Before the emergence of the new alliance, this governor was also unknown to the general public. Speculative comments from Animal House representatives mused if this new alliance commander just happens to be a family member of Horizons himself, but made sure to point out that they will be keeping a very close eye on the new alliance. The Order of Andros was in negotiations with Apex Predator Governors earlier when they ran into a problem. Devastator of the Order of Andros had, knowingly or otherwise, apparently sent attack fleets to the members undergoing recruitment talks. Not only did this come at a bad time, but it also violated a truce agreement. Sources say that Devastator was dealt with severely. In other news, Ghost X of Apex Predators was happy to announce a successful defense of his systems against Darth Insidual from the Sith Empire. Substantial attack fleets have been quickly launched from Darth Insidual's domain in response to Ghost X's plunder against his own systems. However, the Apex Predator Governor's defense was simply overwhelming, resulting in a total loss for the Sith Empire retaliation. Governor Dylan 3, 14 former member of the Black Horizons who had joined them from the Entity during the war, has found himself at odds with a growing number of alliances recently. After leaving the Black Horizons, he had maintained his independence for a short time. During this time he assured others that he was returning to the Entity shortly, yet willfully invited and provoked attacks from everyone near him until he returned to the Entity. However, he was never accepted back into the Alliance. It was also doubtful he would be in favor with Cygnus Alliance after attacking their ally during an honor point rampage in the Sagittarius Arm. Reports indicate that the alliance that had taken him in have expelled him, though the circumstances leading up to the expulsion are unknown. This has been your Galactic News Broadcast. Good hunting.